Hello, welcome to Lord Havoc's Marvel Champions custom content stream. I hope you're having a good day. Before I start, I just want to ask have you told the people that you love that you love them today? Um, if you haven't, uh, I would very much like you to pause watching this video and go do that if you have someone in your life that you love let them know um, it's it's vitally important it's, it really is more, more important than anything else um, oh wait <laughs> um if, welcome back, <laughs> if you come back, if you've done that uh, vitally important task. Um, we've got a, a special episode today, we're going to be looking at one of my my newest custom hero, um, who is Dr. Aphra, uh, a Star Wars character um, from the new Star Wars, uh, Disney Star Wars, so you know, take that as you will. <laughs> they've they ruined quite a lot of it but uh, you know some of it's quite good and I, I, I quite like Dr. Afro as a character I'm not a big fan of what happened right towards the end of her run there but uh, when she was first introduced she was uh, quite intriguing and, and fun um, and I like her uh, and I had what I thought would be a pretty cool um, mechanic and I was originally going to do Indiana Jones um, but I've got a bunch of Star Wars characters, custom Star Wars characters, and some other creators have as well and stuff. And it's, I thought it would, it would, it would also fit Doctor Afro. I mean, Afro is essentially the the female Star Wars Indiana Jones anyway, right? Um, so it works. It just works, um, and it just really clicked as I was, I was as I was making her. Um, it just really, really clicked together for me. Um, I'm going to use X's health dial. Um, yeah, so I hope you like her. I, I think she has an, uh, an interesting little mechanic. Um, let's sort of go through it here. So, uh, place her six artifact upgrade cards aside out of play. So, there's the six upgrade cards. They um, are artifacts that she finds during the course of her adventure, right? So she's, also, she's always up to shenanigans. And um, during... She's not exactly a, a hero, per se. During her adventures, she's always looking for that next big score. Uh, which I think works. Um... You shuffle her six archaeology side schemes into the encounter deck, which I've already done. I now I now realise I probably shouldn't have. So I could show one to you, so I will grab one. What's happened here? Search. Um I'll grab one quick just to show you what it what it looks like. So Here's uh, one of her sides uh, so it's all it's very much leaning towards the side schemes the player side screen. So this is Moraband, um, archaeology location, uh, victory zero. Characters other than Dr. Afra cannot remove threat from this side skin. Um, when defeated, place the set aside artifact upgrade, the Sword of Kashun, into play under your control. So here is the Sword of Kashun. So she essentially gets this for free, this artifact. Uh, it's restricted, victory one, so she can only have two at a time. Um, and which means she can also then not have weapons. So I was actually going to make it so that she could have three restricted items. So I'm thinking I might make it so that she can have three. I don't know. But they are pretty powerful. So the sort of Kish, sort of Kishun, your identity, identity gets plus one attack and piercing because we got a sword. Um, then you got the Wraith Box, which is a bit of a double-edged sword, no pun intended. Uh, when damage is dealt by any source, increase that damage by two. 
Um, so, any damage you do, any damage the villain does, any damage of any kind. The Wraith Box doesn't care, just increases it by two. Uh, dagger of Mortis, uh, exhaust the Dagger of Mortis and take one damage. Choose a character until the end of the round, treat that character's text box as if it was blank, except for traits. Pretty powerful stuff. Um, Jewel of Yavin, your eternity gets steady and plus four hit points. The Rod of Seasons. Uh, exhaust the Rod of Seasons and choose a non-elite minion engage with you. That targeted minion becomes an ally under your control until the end of the round. Its thought is equal to its printed scheme as it takes one and it takes one consequential damage after it thwarts or attacks. Ridiculously powerful. Uh, and uh, the Lost Star of Nalestia. Your identity gets plus one defense and retaliate one. So there's six of these. There's six of them. And uh, the whole point is to try and find them. You know, shuffle them. Um, oh, yeah, the villain is. I was going to do a Star Wars um, scenario, but you shouldn't play. I don't like playing custom heroes against custom scenarios because the balance is a bit weird. So, this is an official one, and I randomized for it, and I'm, unfortunately, I got Absorbing Man. Not a big fan of Absorbing Man, but it could have been worse. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, what else we got? When archaeology science team is defeated, the Afro player is rewarded with an artifact upgrade. Select the applicable artifact from the stack. Oh, there's some, some problems here. It should be a couple S, should be an A. And put into play under the Afro player's control free of cost. The archaeology science team is placed onto, into the encounter's compile as normal. When an artifact upgrade is removed from player, is placed aside in the stack of artifact upgrades, not in the player discard pile. Um, I just realized that that means victory one is pointless. Hmm. So I need to change that, obviously. They don't go back into the stack. Yeah, I should change that. The sky scheme should not. When the sky side scheme is defeated, it should not go back into the encounter discard pile. It should go in the victory display, and she then gets rewarded this. And then when this goes, this should also go in the victory display. Otherwise, she just can just keep getting them over and over and over again. So ignore that last bit. Uh, her nemesis is Magna Tolvin. Uh, he's an imperial soldier, uh, a captain. Um, she has the minions, the Imperial Stormtroopers, not very powerful, but when they get defeated, they get shuffled back into the encounter deck. Uh, her side scheme, Obsessive Pursuit, is all about uh, the relationship between Magna and Dr. Aphra. Um, it actually brings Magna into play. Friendly Enemies is uh, her droids, BT and Triple Zero, uh, try and kill her, She's trying to kill her all the time. And you disappoint me is uh, from when she was working with Vader. She's actually quite close to Vader at one point, uh, which is pretty cool. Our identity cards are already in shuffled in, so as per tradition, we'll deal with those when they come. Her alter ego card, uh, three wreck, archaeologist, genius, scum. Oh, I just remembered that I didn't put in. Um, not put in ingenuity okay, no shuffle so there's no cheating um, choose and discard an artifact or item upgrade you control draw two cards oh wait that's right that's why that's why I said that they go back into the stack and they get shuffled in because she goes and gets them again because of her ability. So what? So I really, so I really got to make a decision here. I either change her ability, um, or I get rid of the victory because otherwise it doesn't make any sense. So I've stuffed that up. 
Also, her ability says an item as well. I should have a deck just stacked with items, and I just don't. I know for a fact I don't. It's all events, really. I should have item after item in there, and I do not. Um. Yeah, haven't done too haven't done too well to uh, prep for this. For this game, I must admit. I think I might change her ability. I think I think I think it works better if they do have their one use and then they go. It doesn't make a lot of sense thematically if she can just go back to the planet and grab another one. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I'm going to change her ability to say because this is meant to represent the fact that she sells them off for money. Yeah. Hmm. I do like that picture though. Uh, and then our hero side two one one uh, scum thief response after Doctor Alfred defeats a side scheme, ready her. Limit one's fur phase. If the defeated size scheme had the archaeology trait, you may also draw a card. Um, so it's essentially Cable's ability plus uh, the little twist for the archaeology thing there. Uh, hand size of five, hit points of nine. Um, I'm debating whether to stop the stream and alter her now and then make these just go to the victory display. You know what? Let's, I mean, I'm here. Let's go through it. Let's see what happens. Let's go through it. Um, absorbing Man. None shall pass. The scar cast from Kennedy into an environment is discarded. Put that into play. So. Well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> that was pretty easy. And then shuffle them back in. Uh, I don't need to do that because it was the top one. Does that now surge? It only surges if it gets revealed here, right? It doesn't say reveal it. It says put it into play. Discard cards and counter deck until the environment is is discarded. Put that card into play. So I guess it's not certain. Um after resolving step one of the villain phase place a delay counter here. There's my delay counters. Um when an environment enters play discard each other environment card in play. Goes up to 12, starts on 2, goes up by 1. Absorbing Man gains the trait of each environment in play. Wood. And they all have an ability. After Absorbing Man makes an undefeated attack against you, take 1 indirect damage, 2 indirect damage instead if there are 5 or more delay counters on the main screen. Cool. Alright. Uh, let's go. Cool. Well, you saw me shuffle, so you know there's no cheating here. Uh, here's another new card that I made. Uh, ready a friendly android, cyborg, droid, robot, or starship character and heal two damage from it. Uh, it's essentially reboot, but more expensive because it also heals one extra point of damage. Um, that's Afro with zero zero. Um, expert defense, ingenuity. All right. So here's one of um, Afro's cards. Uh, support persona uh, it's Magna and she has the exact same name as her nemesis uh, alter ego action exhaust Magna Tolvan ready Charlie Afra uh, and force response if Magna Tolvan is placed into the discard pile from play reveal Dr. Afra's set aside nemesis minion and put it into play engage with you um, which is meant to represent the very complicated relationship that they have uh, she's an enemy, she's a, a friend, she's an enemy, she's a lover, uh, and then she eventually defects and joins the rebellion. <laughs> she's a very interesting character, Magna. Um, one step ahead is her thwart card. Um, choose a scheme and play, remove three threat from that scheme, ignoring any crisis icons. If the last threat was removed from that scheme, remove an additional three threat from a mon schemes in play. Um, and her own personal player side scheme, the Droid Personality Matrix. 
Characters other than Dr. Aphra cannot remove threat from droid personality matrix. When defeated, search your deck and discard pile for either the 000 or BT1 ally and place them into play under your control. There's quite a bit of shenanigans happening with the droids. The droids, are, she has two signature allies, the 000 and BT1. Um, if you get one into play from your hand, you can then go and find the other one and put them into play as well for free. Uh, and there's also things where you, you can use them to block damage. Um, and there's also things where they try to kill you. Um, so they're dangerous to have around, uh, but they're also quite helpful to have around because they are quite vicious and evil. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't really need tech repair. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to use those two to put ingenuity in there. I was going to mulligan, but I was like, I can't think of anything that I actually want to mulligan for, to be honest. So and then ingenuity will then pay for Magna. And the player size game will go into play immediately. Oh yeah, that's an interesting quirk. I mean, it's a player card, so it comes out like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. Cool, let's flip to Dr. Aphra and immediately scheme off this two. Yeah, I need to change her ability. It's kind of silly. Um, and that's it, it's my turn. Let's get four cards. Okay, so there's her other, her spaceship ally. All of my Star Wars custom heroes have a starship. Um, so they generally they have two allies, a starship ally and a actual signature ally. Um, Aphra has three, her starship and the two droids. So there's BT-1, there's the droid I was talking about. Um, the starship will mean nothing in this game, it'll just be uh, a resource. BT1, 3, 1, 2, 3, droid. When BT1 enters play from your hand, you may search your deck and discard pile for the 000 ally and put him into play under your control for your cost. Uh, when BT1 leaves play, add four threat to an archaeology site scheme in play. So they do something to you when they leave. Um, subdue so plan B because Afro always have a has has a plan B. So this is basically custom built for her. This card, cool. Let's go. Uh, we get one thread on here. After the resolving step one, place the delay counter. What's going on here? What's what's the dealio? Cool. Uh, absorbing man. What's his thing say? After he makes an undefended attack against you. Well, he might be making an undefended attack. Uh, I'll defend. So, I'm going to make an undefended attack against you. Take one in direct damage. Two instead if there are five or more. One damage. Can I just take the one damage? Can't really afford to defend. I need to be able to th scheme. I mean thwart. But I'll take the undefended. He attacks for two plus one is three. I will use Archangel. Pay for subdue. He gets minus three attacks, so nothing happens. We get a treachery, and it is a side scheme. How unfortunate. 
Um, two. When defeated, you play a social scan deck for a Hydra minion. My turn. We all know what it does. Uh, ingenuity and plan B will pay for one step ahead. I just need to check something first. Um, So one, two, search for a Hydra minion. No. Who's the other guy? Who's the guy that just does this guy? And then if that removes the last threat, remove an additional three threat. One, two, three. Now for all then. Oh no, that guy was inside, right? So I want that on zero, because that guy does inside one. So Afro will then thwart for two. I don't think I've done this properly. I don't think I've done that as well as I could have. Yeah, I, I think I've stuffed that up. Oh, what am I doing? What's the dealio? Reset and then draw four cards. Okay, threat. Absorbing man attacks. Oh, it was an undefended. Wait, it was an un. After Absorb makes an undefended attack against you, take one, do direct damage. So I should be on one. Okay, so he's attacking. Am I, this time, am I defending? Yes. So he's attacking for boost. If there are five, wait, it should be a delay counter there, right? If the place one through, oh, if there are five or more delay counters, taking direct damage. There isn't. One. So he attacks for two. I would be taking one, but instead. Actually, you know what? I'll just take the one and not defend. Good. Oh, no, I'll be defending. Oh, well, I already said I was defending, so I'm taking, so I'm taking the one. Because he hit for two. Oh, my God. All right, this guy then attacks for two. Um... Actually, I'm going to use True Grit. I use Bring to Strike to pay for True Grit. After your hero defends against enemy attack, which I did, remove threat equal to your thwart. There's that. Uh, then this guy attacks me for two. I will use Spidey. No. 
I'll use BT to pay for jump flip. Prevent that too. If you pay for this card using a resource, an energy resource, remove two threat from the main scheme. Done. So I prevent that damage and I remove threat. Cool. Then I get an encounter card and it is Swinging Stone. When revealed, Zulu Man attacks you. If Zulu Man has the stone trait, he gets plus one. He doesn't, but he still attacks me. He attacks me for two plus nothing. I have to take it and I, I get it undefended as well because of his wood thing. This has not turned out well at all. All I've got left is Spidey, which I can't afford. Hmm. I'm going to use, I'm going to flip, use Magna to ready, and then heal for three. Gonna keep Miles, get ready, get four cards. No, five cards. Okay, rumors and secrets. Shuffle all side schemes of the Akali trade and the discard pile into the 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 encounter deck dumb discard the top card of the encounter deck if it is a size king of the colors you try it reveal it um, so that helps things like this where it was discarded as a boost card it has no effect when it's used as a boost which is great but then i lose access to it and now i can't get the deck or quarters that just puts it back in there um that's really all it does, just shuffles it back in. I think that should be zero. I'll make some notes. Um, rumors and secrets. Cost. Zero fix grammar. Okay, there's uh, her other droid ally, zero triple zero. Uh, when triple zero enters play from your hand, you may search your deck into cup of BT1. Um, he has to enter play from your hand though, so it doesn't doesn't work with this if you put a droid in play because of this you don't get the other droid because he wasn't in play from your hand uh, when Jibble Zero leaves play deal with Afro player a face down arrow and counter card uh, survival instincts when you would take any amount of damage from an attack choose and discard an ally you control prevent all of that damage if that ally I should say was not is triple zero or BT1 deal two damage to the attacker um, First aid and strength three of all those do. Uh, threat, delay counter. Uh, he schemes. Fair two. And this guy schemes for one. Cannon card is caught off guard. Discard and upgrade or support you control. Oh. Wow. Um, I really, really, really do not want to trigger Magna coming in. Insight, retaliate. Two, two, five. They really not want that. So I'm using ingenuity. My turn. I'm going to heal and then ready and then flip. Um, Let 
let's get let's get BT in play because he gets um, it's triple zero so uh, then I get to find BT put him to play I now have two allies to deal with um, Afra is going to take off two of that threat. BT is going to kill this dude. Zero is going to clear off this threat. Okay, and now I can't afford miles because I lost ingenuity. Um, I don't really care about this. So let's. Well, I might as well use it. So I'm I'm changing that to zero to cost zero. Okay, reset, three cards, subdue, expert defense, energy, okay, means I get miles out next time, which is good, blink, another delay counter. How do I get rid of delay counters? I just don't, I suppose, it just keeps on happening. Uh, he attacks. Uh, I will defend. He attacks for put this card into play. When the environment enters play, forced interrupt. Discard each other environment. So I guess discarded. He now has the stone trait. Um, so he attacks for two. I'm defending for one. Expert defense it. And then I'll Envira encounter card, which is assault the villain attacks you. Come on, man. Seriously. Like, what's going on here? What does stone do? Oh, it makes an undefended attack. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm gonna use that for survival instincts and take and stop two. So he gets minus three attacks, so nothing happens, take no damage. And I now can't afford spider miles again. Undefended, so he heals. Should have just taken the two. Or had one of these guys defend. My turn. I can't afford miles, so I guess BT will attack for two. And then it a terrible round uh, get three what does this do not today when your carrier defends against an attacker but it gets plus two defense it take no damage remove two threat from a scheme okay 
Okay, so blink is the fifth delay counter. He attacks. I will. I'm not going to defend because I'm going to use actually BT will defend. Two plus nothing. BT dies. Um, when he leaves play, I add four threat to an archaeology site scheme. There is none, so don't worry about it. Um, didn't use to use survival instincts. Wait, why would you ever use survival instincts? Oh, because if they were def exhausted, I think my th thinking was that if they were exhausted, they can't defend for you, but they can still block the shot for you. It's a very niche card. Do you really need two? Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to do it. Do this instead. Let's keep him in play. And use not today instead, right? So I'll use this and use not today. Which defends and then removes two threat from a scheme. We get any counter card. Revealed. Reveal your set aside nemesis meaning put into play in case you Oh, it's Shadow of the Past. I didn't recognize it because it didn't have Spidey on it. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So we get Magna. Comes into play. Stormtroopers going there. This goes over here. Number three. If Magna Tolvan's supporters in play, set her aside out of play. Goes aside out of play for a second. Reveal Doctor for set aside new spin. Uh, we don't do that because she's already in play. This would only be if it goes into the discard and comes back out again. Uh, when defeated, place Doctor for new spin aside out of play and return to Magna Tolman and support to play. So I don't actually have to beat Magna. I just beat the scheme. So if I can do that, I'm golden. My turn. Um, yeah, well, let's get Spidey out. And I don't need to worry about... Oh, she had insight. I don't need to attack her directly. I just need to beat the scheme. So I will. He gets three, so I'll go one, two, three. Beat the scheme. <coughs> she comes back in. She goes out. So she's back to being on my side again. Hi, Magna. You're awesome. Uh... It's the case of Carol Miles. And then BT will attack for two and perish. When he does, I put stuff on the archaeology size game. There is none, so that's fine. Um, triple zero will then clear this scheme. One. Oh, he can't. I'm the African. So, guess not. Reset. Get five cards. Cool. 
The will gotten gains resource card. If there's a, it has an energy and mentor. If there's at least one archaeology site scheme in play, this card generates an additional wild resource. That's pretty sweet. Uh, logical onslaught. Attack. Team up. Dr. Afro and BT1. Deal 10 damage to an enemy. If you pay for this card using only electrical resources, this attack gains overkill. Um, so you can't use ill-gotten gains to pay for logical onslaught. Um, but hey. It's pretty sweet. Uh, and genius. Uh, threat. He attacks. Um... Dr. Afro will defend. He's a, did I shuffle? Oh, I missed. I forgot these two. These two should be in there as well. Um, yeah, so he takes for three. Uh, I will use Desperate Defense to pay for Desperate Defense. Uh, I took no damage, so I'm ready. Counter card is... Yay! An archaeology location! Very exciting. Six. Um, when defeated, place the set-aside artifact upgrade the Rotter Seasons into play under your control. Pretty cool. Okay, my turn. Afro will thwart the personality matrix and get BT1. Um, now that BT1's in play, I'm going to ill gotten gains. Because there's an archaeology side scheme in play, so it now does three resources, and I'm going to logical onslaught for ten. Thank you very much. He advances to the next stage. Super absorbing power. I'm going to chuck that over there. I don't like it when it's over there. Crew has the ability to absorb the properties of multiple elements at once, but it requires intense concentration. Absorbing man gains the ice, metal, stone, and wood traits. Cool. Um, and then BT miles a while attack for two. Why the hell not? So that worked out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, triple zero will thwart. I'm going to change it to say that these can be thwarted by triple zero and BT as well. So archaeology side schemes. Cool. So, um, yeah, so he'll take off two off of there. Uh, Miles will hit him for two. And I'll stick with the genius. Reset, get four cards. Okay, it's starting to groove now. There's some, some changes need to happen for it to make more sense, but it is starting to groove. Uh, threat, delay town goes up, uh, he attacks, cool, uh, he's attacking for two, 
Um, I need to defend, otherwise I get damage, right? Undefeated against damage, he heals. So we don't want that. So let's play... One step ahead, we'll play for not today. So I'll defend. Not today gives me plus two defense. Uh, boost. Those icons are around the wrong way. If it's all me as the stone or wood trait, you are stunned. Okay. So he does three and I'm stunned. Um, but I got plus two defense, so I'm all good. I took no damage, and so therefore I remove two threat from a scheme. Remove two threat from a scheme. This one. Uh, counter card is Avalanche. Gee, side scheme mania. When revealed. Each player must choose to either spend an energy resource or take two indirect damage. Three, if there are five or more delay counters. There is, so it'll be three damage. I don't have an energy resource. Oh, I do have power in all of us. Well, there you go. Let's go on. So I won't take that damage. And now I've got an acceleration token I need to worry about. My turn. Uh, genius will pay for... Oh, no, it won't. Miles will attack for two and die. Genius will pay for Iron Heart and draw me a card. We're going to strike. Um, BT will. Clear Dolna uh, and give me the rod, the rod of seasons. Very exciting. These cards are way too big. The Rod of Seasons. Very exciting. Um, cool. All right. Uh, BT. As well attack yeah although he could thwart yeah bt and ironheart will thwart away this acceleration token thing i hate that I hate that crap it's the worst uh, do i care about preemptive stroke yeah why not reset get four cards Okay, so there's Electro Tattoos, uh, her upgrade, because uh, she has tattoo, Electro Tattoos. Alter Ego Action, draw two cards from your deck, choose one, discard one. Alter Ego Action, shuffle an identity specific card in your discard pile into your deck. Uh, Professor X there to help me with the thoughts. Uh, and Best Defense is her attack card, that's both copies there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, deal four damage to an enemy, six damage instead if BT1 is in play under your control. Deal one additional damage to the enemy for each side scheme with the accolade trait in the victory display. Yeah. Cool. He's turn. Uh, threat. Get a delay counter. And then he attacks. Um... I guess Ironheart will defend. Boom! Gonna preemptive strike there. Professor X will pay for preemptive strike, which cancels all the boosts. 
and deals damage. One, two, three. Nice. Another avalanche goes. Uh, and Ironheart dies. Encounter card is. Gan up. When revealed. Ultra Ego. No, when revealed hero. The villain and each mean engage with you attacks you. Um, okay, so I guess I'm copping. I guess I'm copping it. Because I don't want to defend. I'm just I'm not gonna defend. Oh, wait. I need BT in play. So I can hit him with defense. You know what? I'm just gonna take the damage. Because I'm gonna win next turn anyway. I'm gonna take it. Two plus nothing. One, two. Now because of this, he heals two. Back up to eight. My turn. Best defense in the face. Electro tattoo, best defense. We'll pay for the best defense. Uh, deal four damage to an enemy, six instead if BT1 is in play under your control. He sure is. And then plus one for each archaeology thing. So it's six plus one is seven. Goes down to one. Oh wait, is that an attack? Tactic area of the stun first. There you go. There's the attack action, which goes down to one, which then... BT1 is going to have the, the glory of slapping him in the face. BT takes him down. Alright, there's obviously some changes that need to happen. Um, all the cards are geared around to these cards going into the victory display. Which means they have to as well. So I need to get rid of the card that said... Where's the card that said... Um, no, they're fine. It's fine. It's not the greatest card ever, but it'll do. I should have to change the is to a was, that just annoys me. This should be zero. Where is the card that says, oh, what am I, what am I doing? It's her ability. Her ability, choose and discard an artifact, I upgrade your control. You'd never get rid of an artifact, would you? Oh, well, maybe she would. I mean, they are restricted, right? Actually, you know what? I think I might keep it. I think it works. It works. You know what? I'm smarter than I thought. <laughs> I thought of that. Because they are restricted. So that means I don't want to give her the you can have one more restricted. I want to keep our uh, capper at two so that you are forced to recycle them. Maybe I should make them easier to come out. Six is a bit much, right? Oh no, if I change it so that these guys can thwart it as well. Yeah, I'll just get rid of that to say that they can they can thwart it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if I change, if I change that, change this to zero. Keep these as they are. And change her deck so that she's got more items. She needs a weapon. She needs plus one attack ASAP. How good with plus one attacking protection? Is 
there any weapons in here? A sidearm helps you with a weapon. Sidearm, what's that? Oh, attached ally. Poo. Plan B would be to help with that, but I got hammered right at the start there. Plasma pistol. Move one charge, deal one damage. Tech. Weapon. That doesn't really help. I need. No. That doesn't really help at all. Hmm. Maybe playing protection was bad. I play. I went protection because she's just she's very squishy. Nine health, one defense. Like it's just it doesn't help her. You know what I mean? It's meant to be these guys are meant to be doing it, so you keep swapping them back and forth. So maybe make personality matrix different. Personality matrix goal. Oh, it's in the victory display. What an idiot. Um, maybe not make this victory card. Make it come back so that I can keep swapping back in and out. very wordy isn't it characters other than dr afro cannot remove threat from droid personality Why doesn't it just say only dr afro can remove threat from droid personality matrix but why not just say that i mean this is the actual official wording of the other side schemes but it's just it's very verbose i think i might take away the victory aspect and have it recycle is that bad because all the other side schemes had victory zero But once it's used, you would have to go through the entire deck anyway, right? So I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, I might take away the victory aspect. So let's fix these ones up. All right. I'm going to make some changes, uh, slight changes. Overall, I think she's, I think she works. Should I give her the plasma pistol? I mean, it was how much does it cost like three two that's not too bad uses three charge counters exhaust plasma pistol remove one charge counter deal one damage to an enemy it's not the greatest but it is only a basic card what more do you want are there any weapons in protection i don't think there is let's have a look have a look. Cards. Weapon. Yeah, see, I don't think there is. There isn't. There is no. Plasma pistol, scimitar, sidearm, sidearm, yeah. So there's nothing in protection. There is a weapon. But is there anything that gives you plus one attack? No, so like there's counter punch that lets you hit back. Hmm. 
Hmm, I'm gonna have to give this thought. Maybe protection is not the way to go. Alright. Uh, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, all the usual stuff. Like, subscribe, that sort of stuff. Uh, if you have a comment on my Dr. Afro hero, let me know. Don't judge it too harshly. I, this is her very first official playtest, so... Um, if she's terrible, I apologise in advance. <laughs> she's, she's got some tweaking that needs to happen. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry, I'm sort of rambling. I apologise. Anyway, take care. Bye.